Hey guys, how's it going? Um, in this video, I actually want to talk about neutral colors. Um, it's about how do apps pick neutral colors, how you can pick neutral colors. And it sounds it sounds like it's a big deal, but it's it's really not. Um, and uh, and th I'm going to show you a technique or a concept that uh, a lot of designers use, a lot of big apps follow. And this is something that you can follow if you think it's easier for you. Um, like I said, there's no right or wrong methodology. Um, as long as the design looks great, doesn't matter how and why you pick those colors. So Mansa sent me her, um, uh, you know, her file and she wanted help on figuring out how to pick neutral colors. And she realized that there were so many, you know, so many of these grays and whites. So what's the right way to go about it and whether she wanted to do it right. So. What I'm going to show you is uh, something that's pretty cool. I use this a lot when I am designing apps and hopefully you can sort of apply this principle if you want as well. Now, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and created these, um, uh, you know, these boxes which indicate the respective grays on the screen. And uh, let me let me go, you know, one by one. So this first one is, you know, this main black that we have. It's not a pure black. It's, you know, sort of has a little bit of gray in it. So as you can see, it's not completely black. And that's their primary color. There's no other color that's there on the Nike app, right? The only other colors is the images and the posters. Apart from that, there's no other accent color, right? So this is basically their primary color. Now let's take a look at the other grays that are there on the screen. So these two, again, pretty much are the same color. Uh, let's ignore this for now because this is a one-time thing that's used in the app. You know, this this component is not used anywhere else. The other two grays are we have this divider and we have this uh, secondary text, right? Now, ideally, what you would want to do is if, if you want to understand what, you know, neutral color or gray they're using, you just go ahead and create a rectangle and you pick the eyedropper tool by pressing I, that's the shortcut. And then you come over here and then you pick the color. Right, so E5, E6, E6. And let's do the same thing over here. Press I on the keyboard and I'm gonna come here and pull this color which is 757575. So we have three different colors. But in reality, these are not three different colors, they are the exact same color. What do I mean by that? So if I come over here, this color is actually the same color, right? but they look different. Why? And that's because this one has an opacity of 12%. A lot of apps, they pick their main color. When, and when I say main color, I'm going to talk about their main black color, not their primary color. They take it and all their grays are usually different opacity levels, right? And I'm going to like prove this to you. So let me bring this over here. And you have to see this on a white background, not on this gray background. Right? So this is the same color as this. So if I want to show here that I can show you that this is the same color and then it's 12 pixels. Now I'm just going to go ahead and overlap this on this, right? Now the problem is since this is an opacity layer, uh, you can see through. So in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new rectangle, just a small block, and I'm going to copy this color and this color considers the opacity value as well. So now the true color is actually E2, E2, E2. And now I'm going to bring this and put it over here. You can see that this is exactly the same color as this border. Now, how did I pick 12 as the value? Now 12 is usually the number that material design recommends for borders, but you can use whatever number you want depending upon the strength of the gray and the black, whatever it is, you can pick any color. I knew it was 12 because 12 is usually what I use for dividers and borders, right? Um, that's some number I'm comfortable with. I use it. You can use 15, 28, anything that you want. But Nike has used 12 and you can see that right over here. So even though these two colors look, I mean, this and this color looks different, they are derived from the same hex code, which is one, 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 one. This is the same thing over here, right? Uh, this is locked for some reason. Okay. This is 50%. Okay. So let's, let's, let's check this out. Okay. So I'm going to bring this over here. Now, if I overlap it, 
I won't be able to properly see it because there's a transparency level. So rather I'm going to create a new rectangle and then pull this color, right? So now it's 888888. Now let's see if that's correct, right? It's almost correct, right? It's not perfect, I would say. Like it's, it's almost, right? So maybe let's reduce this down to 40, sorry, 40. And let's pull that color, all right? Uh, okay, maybe I need to make this 55. Okay, and then pull this over here, right? So 55 looks pretty much. Let me try 60 and see if that's the color, right? Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think 60 is the, like the exact value, right? So 60% and again, 60% is something that the human interface guidelines by Apple recommends and something that uh, material design by Google recommends and a lot of apps use this 60% for secondary level text. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this 60 because I think that was the right number. And the other neutral color is your white. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is nothing different in that. So we've got three colors, neutral colors, but all derived from the same parent, which is this. Now we can go forward and look at this as well. Here, now this divider again. Now what you wanna understand is that since this number two was used as a divider, you have to use this color only when you're using dividers or borders or strokes or stuff like that, right? You cannot use it for any other purpose. That's the fundamental rule. This three, which is secondary text, can be used only for secondary text items, not anything else. So that's something you have to remember. So I'm gonna come over here to two, right? So this was style. Let's go ahead and actually verify this. So I'm gonna bring this over here. Right, I'm gonna make this smaller. I'm gonna make another rectangle, grab the true color, which is E2, E2, E2. And if I put this over this, you can see it's the perfect, the, it's, it's the exact same color. Now we have another text over here. Now this is not really, um, uh, you know, like the secondary level text. This is a little darker. So here is another text that we have got, which is 30%. So let me try to see if there is actually 30%. So let me create a new rectangle, grab this color value and it's not. So maybe it's 40%. I think 40 is again, what Google and Apple recommends. So it's pretty much the same or maybe is it 50, right? Let, let, let's, let's, let me try. Let's go another level. Let's, let's try 45. Okay. And let me pull the color. Yeah, yeah, so 45, 45 seems to be pretty much the exact same color. Um, and if I want, I can actually get the color values here as well, right? It's pretty much there, it's almost the same thing, right? Uh, maybe if I bump this up to 50, let's see, sorry, 50, let's see if that at least is the right color, okay? Yeah, sort of, maybe, sort of does look like it's the same color. Right now, I'm definitely sure that it's not 60 because if I make it 60 and do this, you can see it's quite dark. It's quite dark. You can see quite a bit of distinction, right? So somewhere in the 45 range is what they've used for placeholder text. Placeholder text is actually the label of the text field. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a secondary text or anything. Now here they've used, I believe this is the same color. Now, ideally I would have wanted them to use this all right, uh, uh, sorry, I would have wanted them to use this color, uh, this, you know, th the same color, but I guess they're using uh, this different color. I guess it's an exception, but that's totally okay. As long as you know what you're doing and why you're doing it, okay? So I'm just gonna make this, let's say 50 for now, right? This is my placeholder, this is my divider. What else, everything else is white and black. All right, cool. Here you've got another one. Uh, which is another one over here, which is a different one. And this is 70%, which is just for this. Uh, so like, let's, let's go ahead and verify this, right? So I'm gonna put this on a white color background, all right? And then grab the true color value, all right? So this is the true color value. Um, and this is the opacity value. And let's see if they are the same colors. And you can see that they are the exact same color. Right. So this is the same color, which is, sorry, let's make this right at 70%. All 
all right cool let's come over here again so here for dividers again we've used we are using number two which we already defined all right uh, we have the secondary text which i'm very sure is the same as this right we also have another new one which is this one right which is another different gray it's a different le opacity level so this was 12 this was 60 this was 50 this was 70 and i've got another one and this is five percent right so let's verify this i'm going to bring it over here okay um and make a smaller version of this all right pull the true color and let's make this 100 percent right the true color is f3 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 and if i bring it over here you can see that it's exactly well there's like like a very 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 slight difference but it's pretty much um uh you know the same color sorry which is which is five percent right so i can go ahead and set this to five percent so instead of going and picking these different hex codes and color values just pick your main color which is primary your text which is primarily going to be your text and then pull all the different grays based on opacity levels and you can probably open many apps and do this um not all the apps do it sometimes they have their own shade they have their own you know sometimes they add a hint of blue or a hint of orange or a hint of their accent colors to the gray um but not all of them are usually uh, opacity levels of the primary you know black that they're using so now you've basically now now the question is how many colors should you have in your palette well that's totally left to you right now in this case since blacks are the only color i would recommend having six colors in your palette which is one two three four five and six but if you're using another app which has a lot of colors Maybe what you can do is just have this one color in your palette and then have your primary color, your secondary color, your accent colors and all that. And when you design an element which needs a different level of gray, just drop the opacity value. That's it. You don't need this color to be in your color palette because this color is anyway going to be in your color palette. But this true color, which is with the opacity of 12, need not be um, because, you know, you, because it's not really important. But here, since Nike deals with only blacks and grays, it would make sense to have all these six colors in your color palette. But again, it's personal pre preference. It's up to you how you want to uh, build your color palette. So this is an interesting thing that I thought I would show people. Um, and uh, hopefully you can use this concept in your apps as well. So cool. Hope you guys enjoy the video.